And we're back with vegan feminist horror filmmaker Melanie Light. A quick heads up that we do use a bit of salty language, so you might want to put on your headphones. And bear in mind that you'll get a lot more out of this conversation if you've watched The Herd first. It's a short film, it's only about 20 minutes long. The link is above and below. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen it yet because it's out, I think it's out the 21st of November. So and I've messaged a load of mates and one of my mates wanted to see it anyway. And I was like, you know, this is like, this is basically a vegan film. And they're all like, is it? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm like trying to get all my vegan mates. And like, I think, you know, once the ve once the vegan community know it's a vegan film, do you know what I mean? Like they go fucking, they go mad for it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we really want as well. Do you know what I mean? Cause, that, cause things like that, cause obviously it's a very prestigious film from, you know, the festivals and stuff like that. And, and it will be, you know, and it's, it's got a lot of, clout to it but it's you know I think then that will bring it you know like I went and watched the documentary cow that was out did you hear about that no I haven't seen it there was a there was like a kind of documentary called cow um by Andrea Arnold and it was just like kind of following the life of a dairy cow mm. and I have like everyone's like oh you know loads of people didn't even see it and they're like oh this is such an important film like you haven't fucking watched this because I went and watched this and I can guarantee the people that made this aren't vegan and they've basically profited of it, it the exploitation of a cow and she fucking dies at the end and they could have fucking helped her and I was like only somebody who doesn't care about her you know at one point I was, and then you know when you get like and I'm like I'm going home I'm going to watch interviews with the director because I want to know if the director's vegan or not and then like and then at one point she talked about connecting with nature. It was a fucking farm. I was There's like, if you connect with nature, natural about drive it. into the middle of fucking nowhere and live in the fucking woods and eat mushrooms. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was, it made me really mad. And I, and like people were like, oh, it's so sad. And I'm like, yeah, but like, uh, and what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, exactly. Well, and like some. And sorry, and then someone interviewed her and was trying to get down the vegan kind of message route, and she wasn't having any of it. Like you could just tell she was just like she didn't want to be like this is you know wasn't and that really fucking that annoyed me. You know, it's like when I see things made by people, like you can tell when they're not in that world. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's ah, oh, it pisses me off. <laughs> just don't understand and this is this is how we will have a very organic segue into your amazing vegan horror film the herd <laughs> that i don't understand how someone can make a film like that and leave the dots unconnected in their own brain but for you you got the script from your friend Ed Pope, right? Who is was already, you know, was already vegan. And the story explores, you know, what would it look like if we had a, a dairy, an industrial dairy farm situation and the the beings in the stalls were human females, what would that look like? And you read the script, right? And you and you were and you were a vegetarian. You were still, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, consuming milk products, uh, dairy milk products, and, and you said, "You." I was like, I can't make this as a vegetarian. Yeah. I mean, at the time, actually, I wasn't really. I didn't buy milk. It was only more like if milk was in something, like a packet of chips or like you know a cake or something. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I didn't buy eggs anyway. I didn't buy milk anyway. I didn't. So I'm quite proud of myself for that one. But um, yeah, I was like, I can't make this. I can't be. What? Why would I do that? You know. And I think making that really solidified, like you know, especially when you have to watch the footage for the ending. And, you know, it's just like, uh, it's just trauma inducing, isn't it? Yeah, so I I cry. I re I rewatched it you know, so be fresh in my head for us chatting today. And I was crying again, watching it. And, you know, um, 
you know, um, so in the in the film, um, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, uh, which is probably going to be most of the people who are watching this, so please, please, please watch the film. Pause this video now. Go watch it now. Or <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna put it in the card. Wait here, card, card, right now. <laughs> yeah, and I hope I I hope I pointed it in the right direction. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> and so I was. So I, I, the, 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 in this, the scene that I'm thinking of, um, a woman gives birth. Now, dairy farms, remember that the beings who are giving birth and their babies are being taken away from them, these are females also. They are women. They are non-human women, but they are women. And so the, in this, the scene where this uh, female is giving birth, and um and um her captor um, um says it's a boy and they and they throw the baby in the trash can and i just i don't understand like this this is what happens that like boy calves and then you think like oh you know old mcdonald and his happy barnyard that, that like oh these 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 animals live out their lives and we only take a little bit from them no we take everything from them and um and you know boy but, but female females have more value on the dairy farm because they will become their mothers they can see the fate of their own fate in the lives of their mothers um and so um boy calves are sold to become veal and and which is so interesting to me that there are like certain things that meat eaters will deem unacceptable right so when I when I was growing up, my dad would never order veal at an Italian restaurant. That's unethical. Mm. And yet, you know, he ate, you know, he he ate hamburgers, he ate steak. I mean, it was just it just mm, preaching to the choir, of course. <laughs> but well, uh, they're still babies, like, but they're just not like newborn babies. It's like lamb, you know. It's just like, 